Hello everyone, 2024 seems to be an exciting year for Elite Dangerous as we got some very pleasing news about the future of the game with an announcement of very interesting incoming update. I will be honest, considering the financial situation of Frontier Development, uh, yeah, I was not sure that the studio would continue to support the game, but here we are boys and it seems that Ellie is back on the menu. Following some Frontier development statement, it seems that Elite is still one of the major earners of the company, and compared to the result they got on some title they recently launched, Oof. therefore we can easily understand why Frontier wants to focus more on Elite and add content to the game, which is a good news for us players because it means that the game is far from being dead. So let's quickly review together what is coming to us this year. From the information we have, this update will come out on February 26 and it will introduce ways to destroy the Targoid Titan. A new community goal just came out which requires material and bounty vouchers to be delivered to the Professor Pline in IZ Cetai for the construction on anti-Titan's torpedoes based on Guardian technology. Now we have a good idea on how we are going to destroy the Targoid motherships. But it seems that the alien aggression toward the bubble will be over, thus meaning the end of the Targoid War. I think it is a good idea to conclude this part of Elite lore, as the gameplay and content introduced by the Targoid arc was not really universal and was actually enjoyed by just a portion of the Elite player base. Not having to manage the Targoid War anymore, Frontier will certainly have more time and resources to focus on other aspects of the game, which is quite necessary to be honest. Maybe the Targoid Conquest system will be completely removed, but I hope they will let us the option to find some ace facts not so far from the bubble. After five long years since the introduction of the Mamba on December 11, 2018, Frontier announced the introduction this year of at least four new ships to Elite Dangerous. I am quite excited about the idea of having new ship in Elite. Who can deny that after all, a spaceship sim is about ships, right? Is this statement too obvious? Because some people seem to have been completely oblivious of this fact. Joke aside, it was certainly necessary to expand our choice of ride as the main reason why we grind those sweet credits. Mwah! And I will not do for them. Is to spend them on machines that will allow us to enjoy the full potential of the game. It was announced, however, that the new ships will be variants of existing ones. It's a little bit of a disappointment for me, as even if Frontier stated that they would play functionally differently than the existing ones, I would have loved the introduction of completely refreshed new ship design in the game in order to break the quite geometrical, polyagonal, Pythagore compatible looks of the existing ones. The good news is that we got some artwork for one of the incoming ships this year, and it is the Mark II Python, and this ship is... Absolutely gorgeous. So there is still hope. I know your curve is what made me fall for you, but this, this. It's not my fault if God made the devil stronger than man, okay? I also worry about the difficulty to introduce new ships in a game where there are already ships perfectly suited for all gameplay loops. Except for the Targoid fighting, where I always felt that humans were using ships not really designed for this kind of combat, which offers some margin for new ship creation, I guess. For the rest, there are high risks they will fall either in the category of useless ship or overpowered ship. For now, let's wait and hope for the best for the future. Because update 19, <laughs> uh, which will be coming sometime in the summer, uh, will contain a full reworking of Powerplay, which we're actually calling imaginatively Powerplay 2.0. A complete rework of the Powerplay system has been announced by Frontier Development for the update 19. For the ones that do not know what is Powerplay in Elite, 
It's a factional territory feature where players can pledge to one of the faction and realize different actions to help its leader to gain power and political influence in the world of Elite. Without a doubt, it was a heavily needed update, as the lack of depth and uninteresting gameplay of power play kept most of the player base out of it, except of course when they wanted to get the special module rewards. This needs its special category has failed feature, believe me. So, useless to say that a rework of power play is welcome. Frontier Development announced the coming of a completely new feature for the game this year. There is a lot of speculation about what this new feature is going to be as we have very little info about the content of this new feature. We could explore all the speculation from the community but I believe it's out of the scope of this video so we will do it maybe another time. I hope this addition will be a new gameplay that all players, from the beginner to the washed out hard veteran with thousands of hours of playtime on Elite, will be able to enjoy. We will have to wait further announcement to have a better idea of what to expect, but it is absolutely awesome that we will get to have new content in a game where we have already so much stuff to spend our time on. In conclusion, the announcement of new content for Elite Dangerous in 2024 is an ecstatic moment for the entire community. From the tease of new ships and features to the promise of expanded gameplay mechanics, there is an undeniable sense of anticipation and excitement surrounding what lies ahead in the vast expanse of the Milky Way. As Commander eagerly wait further details and the eventual release, one thing remains certain. Elite Dangerous is a great game which offers great exploration, discovery and boundless adventure. And the future of the galaxy is not looking brighter. So ready your ships, sharpen your skill and fly safe commander and may the stars guide you on your journey.